Dit is Christiaan. Christiaan is de meest iconische kapper in de hele wereld. Christiaan, waar ben je van bekend? Chopping of a bomb, making Grace's flat top, having a hand in Debbie, the digit head, the buzz, the knot, the crackhead. <laughs> oh, oh, we're speaking English, are we? I'm Lara Stone. Here I am. And here. Hi. And we're Dutch. And if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. So I suppose you know by now, there's a lot more to Christian than just being a hairdresser. He's a renaissance man. He makes poems and pots. Let's get to know him, shall we? Hey, Christian, what's your first memory? Sneaking out of the house to go to some girlfriend. I think we can all guess your favorite color. Must be orange. What's your worst color? Purple. So, how were you discovered? I always say uh, I was born in America by a fancy fluke. Hey, me too. I was discovered on the metro. I was invited to come to Burg of Goodman, where I had passed by on my way uh, back to Holland from Aruba uh, after my stint of the Marines and the whole shebang of the mistaken identity. What mistaken identity? Somebody uh, thought that I was a friend of a famous Broadway actress in these days, so I had the red carpet rolled out. Well, I suppose so did I. What happened with you? Came to Burg of Goodman, thought I would be a shampoo boy, ended up being the creative director. So that's how that started. Who were your first hair targets? Poor teenage boys in my uh, village. When did you think you'd made it? They started calling me a hair hero. This is an echte haarheld for our Nederlandse vrienden. Most people have way too much hair. They're often happy to air it out a little bit. One of the best part of my job is that I can make any girl bend over. Don't I know it. How do you become a hair icon? I do have a somewhat significant role in the history of recent hair. Because of a few things I managed to pull off. But they are like specks in a very long line of regular work. It's just that sometimes a spark flies out and the rest of the world catches fire. And we have that in common. Of course, the window there is uh, where Grace Jones lived in the 70s. And uh, she screamed hair one day to our bedroom over there after midnight. I want a haircut. And that's how the flat top happened. Aside from the flat top, what are you known for? I think I'm appreciated for a certain consistent and creative approach that is my number one rule. I tell everybody, touch and feel. Well, that explains it. I do not subscribe to a particular hairstyle. I always consider uh, hair to be the flag of the soul. So I sport it. I raise the flag. And you did. Let's pause for a minute to look at the beautiful house Christian designed for his wife Marianne in the Hamptons. This here is Christian relaxing by Marianne's empty pool in the Hamptons. On that note, let's ask him. What do you believe in? I think everyone in everyone in their lives hangs their head on something, but it is something that uh, people associate with you and that reinforces it. It becomes a bit of a recognized streak of oneself. Maybe uh, I gave up religion and instead I took up orange. Now let's establish how Christian loves, as he really does love a lot. Although I wouldn't know it personally. First poem? I love you. First love? Mariana. That's Christian's wife. We'll come back to her. This is Christian's son, Pete. Isn't he cute? Number one son. Okay, wow. (laughs) Number one. Okay, noted and scored. Take that, number two. (laughs) Here's Pete getting a haircut. Well, it's basically a five-second date with a razor. So when did you start writing poems? I started making these poems at the same time that I was a four-letter word freak. Why? I don't know why. It's just four-letter words are disreputable. And I told by myself, disreputable, just because twat is a four-letter word, doesn't mean love is disreputable. So I started collecting four-letter words. But what would you do with them? So I would. Every year, for every birthday, for Pete, this one is Pete, four-letter word, make a poem about their life, right? What's this? I made it. 
all by myself. It was made for Mariana's 50th birthday. So I made every page, a double page of her life. Wow, look, you're a real hunk. And Mariana's a knockout. Here is the page that has her and me still not having met. I'm a Marine in Aruba. She's a pretty girl secretary in Amsterdam. That, by the way, everybody was after. (laughs) And then we met. And we married. Now, let's go back to the Hamptons. Tell us about your hobbies. Hair is my bedrock. The rest is simply an effort to remain a well-rounded individual. Can I have a look? These are Christian's candlesticks. He made them. I love them. I love them too. Can I have one? Yeah. Tell us about this bench. These three pieces of wood, the base and the sides, were one piece. And so they're like a puzzle. An original chair-sized puzzle. And here's Christian with a chainsaw. And finally, the most important question, how did you become Mr. Marvelous? Somehow between this and that, the honor came to me. Who doesn't want to be called Mr. Marvelous? The smell is good. And what does it smell like? Gin and tonic. <laughs> well, there's nothing better, is there? Now Christian's going out onto the lake. See you soon, Christian. Let's make a dive for them and see what they will do.